Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls to this week's episode of the Homeschool Science Club. In today's episode, we will be doing five easy experiments in the kitchen that your kids will love to do and instantly increase their interest in science. We will be crushing cans, making fireworks, creating rainbows, making density towers, and covering all kinds of interesting and important science topics such as density, pressure, surface tension, and solubility. So stay tuned, it's time to have some fun. All right, our first experiment is gonna demonstrate how you can crush a can with your mind. With telepathy? Uh, no, uh, actually just with the knowledge of science. Even better. For this experiment, all you're going to need is an empty can and a container filled with cold water. Safety first. Step number one, fill your aluminum can with a little bit of water. Then place it on the oven and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, what you're going to want to do is rapidly invert the can and place it into the cold water. To explain the science behind this, you thinking what I'm thinking? We should get our state-of-the-art graphics department involved. Absolutely. This is our can. Around the can, and inside the can, and around everything for that matter, are air molecules. These air molecules create an air pressure. Air pressure is the same inside the can as it is outside the can. In this experiment, we're going to add water into the can. The next step is to heat the water up. As the water heats up, it evaporates, and those water molecules move around much faster than air, creating increased pressure. They actually push out the air from the can. When the heat is taken away, everything happens in reverse. The water vapor condenses and slows down, and that allows the air molecules to re-enter the can. But in the case of our experiment, we don't let air re-enter the can because we put it in the water. This means there's increased pressure outside the can than inside the can, causing our can to crush. Before we get to the next experiment, if you're finding our content useful, consider subscribing by hitting the button below or the watermark at the bottom right of our screen. We do weekly videos all about homeschool. With the focus on science. Our next experiment is going to demonstrate the milk rainbow. All you're going to need is milk, specifically whole milk, some food coloring, and just a drop of dish detergent. First step, pour some milk into your plate or bowl. The next step is to slowly and carefully place drops of food coloring in a random pattern all over your milk. It doesn't matter where, just leave the center of your plate clear because that's where your drop of food coloring is going to go. In this experiment, what is happening is the dish detergent is acting as a surfactant. A surfactant is anything that decreases the surface tension of a liquid. With the surface tension decreased, the properties of the soap molecules interact with the milk molecules and you can see those interactions represented by the food coloring. Our next experiment is the density tower. You're going to need a lot of ingredients for this one. But most of them you already have in your kitchen. You don't need all of them. But the more you have, the bigger and cooler your tower will get. Now for this you're going to need maple syrup, corn syrup, honey, dish soap, vegetable oil, milk, rubbing alcohol, water, and some food coloring. All these ingredients require slow pours. <laughs> well, that's good, oh goodness. Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh. If you're not making a mess, you're not having fun. Liquids with the higher density will go to the bottom. So the order you want to use is honey, then corn syrup, followed by maple syrup. The next liquids you're going to want to use a turkey baster as it makes it a little bit easier. So next is milk, dish soap, then water with some food coloring in it, vegetable oil, and then rubbing alcohol that also has food coloring in it for the distinctive colors. If you go slow and let it settle, 
After a while, your density tower will look something like this. Experiment number four is how to make fireworks in a jar. All you need for this is a jar, some water, some vegetable oil, and some food coloring. To start with, pour two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a small container. Then, place three drops of four different colors of food coloring in the vegetable oil. Then give it a quick and easy stir with a fork. And then carefully, and more importantly, slowly pour the solution on top of the water. You'll see that the food coloring, which is not soluble with the oil, but more dense, will go down and dissolve in the water, making our fireworks. Experiment number five is called the Cartesian Diver. It explains several principles including buoyancy, density, and some of the laws of gases and how they behave. First, fill a medicine dropper until it barely floats in water. This is not what you want. With just enough water in the dropper to make it float, put it in a two liter bottle filled with water and cap it off. How else can we get the dropper to go to the bottom? How do you give it pressure? Um, pu push down on the water. Oh. And we'll try it. Here, let's squeeze it together. Okay. Or, whoa, how is that impossible? <laughs> this one's pretty simple because we know density equals mass divided by volume. When we squeeze the bottle, we increase the pressure, pushing water into the syringe. When the volume of air gets smaller, our density will increase. One more time, just because it's so simple and neat to see. So there you have it. Five easy and fun experiments at home that you can do with your kids. They are simple, but also incorporate some quite complex science topics that your kids can learn about. We hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week.